Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. And in the last video, we made more money on the alt account, but also we unlocked Vengeance on the main account. The reason for Vengeance is very obvious. Once we get to the 1v1s, we are going to be able to prevenge and then swap back to Ancient Magics and use Barrage after that. And it's a very small advantage in a straight up 1v1 fight that I basically needed to have. Another reason as to why it's really good is I wanted to do more Slayer, but Slayer is extremely dangerous right now. However, if I do have the Vengeance and I do have a Granite Maul, I could surprise some PKers and maybe even get a max set out of it. Obviously, that's very optimistic, but the option is always there. That being said, I'll start today's video by doing a little bit of Slayer. The very first task back is going to be some good old Necreals. Those are my sigils. I'm having a Guardian Angel, so if I die, I keep my bank. Sigil of the Skiller and Barbarians to increase my Slayer by 50% and 100%. So, experience should be be coming in quickly. All right, well, it is the morning and I decided I'm gonna do something very risky on the account. Now, firstly though, I need to unlock a teleport to Karend, and in order to do that, I need to get a bunch of books from Arceus library and there it is, transportation indications are right here. If I read them, you have now learned the tele to teleport to Karend. That's basically all I wanted. Actually, you know what? Since I found everything so quickly, screw that, man. I don't care about no room crafting experience. Let's Let's go and do our very first barrage task. I'm gonna risk it all and I'm gonna barrage in the catacombs of Karend. We are putting our third and final dangerous teleport for now into the Karend castle. There it is. That's why we did all of that. All right, then let's go ahead and actually do this. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. No way people actually PK here. No way people actually PK here. I can't do that for real. I got caught almost immediately, so that means we're going back to old school training. Damn, I was really having high hopes that I was actually gonna be able to do that. This could be anything, the big chonker. The problem with these is they deal so much damage, so there's a cool trick you can do if you're doing it right here. And as soon as he summons the little death spawns, you go down. See, that happens, it spawns the little guys, you go down, you go up, and th those are un -aggro now. So that's like really cool thing to do here. All right, then here we go. Good luck us. Porcupine. All right, that's a good one. That's actually a good one with some blood runes. Give me a good one. We're talking blood veils, hellhounds. What are we doing? Sukwas. Hey, there's 92 Slayer. Very cool. Worms. Bro, worms for real? Wow, a slithery encounter. Wow. Nah. Dragon throne axes. 90 of them. There it is. The big 93 slayer whilst eating. I don't even know what I'm eating actually. Sweet and sour chicken. That's what I'm eating. I just couldn't remember it for some reason. Sigil of the feral fighter. That's gonna make me bank right here. Ooh, dragon knives. That's amazing. That's like, they're like 4k each. So that's like a 400k drop right there. Nice. And I'm almost done with the task. So then we can try actually doing smoke devils for the first time. That will be sick. I've decided to visit my boy Duradel right here with a slaughter bracelet or slaughter relic actually to choose a task of smoke devils there it is 145 of them every occult we get we can now sell for around 2.5 million a piece which could really get me a lot of money in order to get either working towards maxed or working towards the last pieces that i need which is full ancestrals okay let's see how this goes i am nervous as hell oh there's a guy here there's a pick okay there's a couple pick airs actually yeah I think I should be fine, maybe. Oh no, they got a hit, sad. Oh, I got out. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. They're so bad, what the fuck? There's like four PKers. <laughs> yeah, they, they did scout me actually, wow. How did they not get in? They're so trolling. That's crazy. Wow! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Since we are currently in the peak time of RuneScape with the most amount of players on, I'm just gonna go ahead and train some skills. Now, I have actually decided I will attempt to max this Deadman Mode account before the finals. Don't ask me why, maybe I'm just weird like that, but I think maxing could be fairly easy and I haven't really focused on it at all and I'm already with a lot of 99s. So, I'm thinking let's do a little bit of thieving here, maybe a little bit of agility here and there, you know, whilst it's very, very active and then we're gonna go back to barraging and finish off 99 Slayer when it's a bit 
less active because it should be very fast with 1 million XP and now what I'm getting when I'm barraging smoke devils. For now though I'm gonna go ahead and get a carpal tunnel syndrome clicking this knights and get absolutely no loot for it. I feel a little bit frisky, a little bit risky, we're gonna do some chaos druids. Hey you, just just check if you're subscribed please man, I'm almost at 100k, just, just scroll a little bit down here, yeah? see if the button is red and if it is click it, it's that simple. No way, that's so unlucky. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but basically I need to thank to Ferox. I TP'd in that they all just hopped at the exact time. The only guy left was the guy without freezes. <laughs> Decided to stick through with thieving. We are up to 85. We're gonna keep going because the XP per hour is getting better and better the less I'm failing. All right, that is 90 thieving, spam clicking like crazy. It's going, it's going all right, honestly, can't complain. All right, I got to 93 thieving. My finger is starting to hurt, so we're gonna move on to something else. All right, that is 75 agility. I'm now going to grab a relic that's gonna boost my agility for five levels, and we're gonna move on to Releka. All the way to 80 agility, we've done 33 laps so far. I do want to get 5 more levels so then we can move on to RD. Alright, a lot of laps later, it is the next morning and there it is, 85 agility, meaning I can now actually move on to Ardun. However, since it is the morning, I don't want to move and do more agility. I want to try and go um, do more barraging on the smoke devils again. Alright, we are back at the smoke devil dungeon. <laughs> what? No way! Well, I guess I'm going back to agility. Sigil of the gnomes. Alright, it's been about an hour of agility. I'm up to 87 and let's go ahead and uh, try barraging the smoke devils again. Let's see how long we last this time. And there it is, 94 slayer. We're gonna just keep going, obviously. Let's try not to die. Sigil of the feral fighter. Damn, that's unlucky. Okay, that's the first big one. Nuclear smoke devil. I think I should tag more and then do it while I kill the small ones. Here we go, good luck us. For a sigil of ruthless ranger. Well, that's unfortunate, is it? First task of smoke devils completed. I still have 87 points, so I can keep taking another one. Um, and we got almost to 95 slayer, kind of. Unfortunately, no occults yet. All right, I will quickly take another task of smoke devils. I like to risk it. I really want to get those occults. So let's go ahead and grab... There they are, smoke devils right on the top. 135 of them. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. There it is, the very first occult necklace. Around 3 million right now, took its time to get it. Yesterday it was maybe a little bit more, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and quickly put that in the banks, so we don't lose it if we were to die, basically. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with it. Let's make sure it's here. There it is. Basically the first kill back, we got it. Very, very cool. Another superior one, and I got a supply drop at the same time. Cedar rolls and door stalls. Okay. This could be anything. This could actually be anything. I'm always excited when I get superiors. Sigil of Finality as well, um, over there on the floor, which I think is a tier 3 sigil. And let's see what we get from the big boy. Here we go. Cedarals and uh, Ranging Potions. That is, I'd say, a little bit unfortunate even. And there it is, 95 a Slayer. Four more levels to go, very cool. There is another sigil, Sigil of Versatility. I believe that's the one that changes your spellbook. And Sigil of the Forager right next to it as well on the floor, very cool. I have never before imagined that I will be doing agility to relax from a stressful activity. Like, whoa, what happened to me? What is wrong with me? I'm over here barraging tasks and then when I'm stressed out, I come here and do some laps. Uh, anyways, it's kind of weird. I didn't ever imagine that to be the case, but it's not too bad. It's like 1.5 million um, XP an hour in agility, I believe. If I just jump around and I want to get to like 90 something ASAP. The, the scary thing about this is I don't have Guardian Angel up here so if there is a Darok bomber or something that has a high agility level I can get one hit and I can lose a lot 
Now, luckily, no PKers ever train agility, so I think we are chilling, but just to show you what I would lose if I were to get one banked, this would be painful. And here's a little sneak peek of how we're gonna be training crafting later on down the line. And that is 90 agility. All right, there it is, 92 agility, halfway to 99, technically. And that means I'll now move on to a different skill, I believe. Or do I just do more agility? All right, enough agility for now. I'm gonna go plant a bunch of the trees that bought on the Grand Exchange. So we're talking magic trees and palm trees all around Gilenor, basically. And then tomorrow we'll be able to get a shit ton of experience. But there's 93 agility. I'll definitely be finishing that later on down the line. This is the only tree I had pre-planted and I have a bunch of in the bank that I'll plant now, but there it is, 300,000 XP, 79 farming, just like that, very simple, very fast. Let me introduce you to something extremely satisfying, but also very, very expensive. Look at this, 68,000 XP drops. You, nah. This is ridiculous. All right, there's 75 crafting. We're getting fat 45 mil XP an hour. And there is 80 crafting, we're up to 52 million XP an hour. There is 85 crafting, there is 90 crafting, we're almost up to 60 million XP an hour. That, that is just, yeah, welcome to that mode, I guess, oh my god. And here we are, almost 98 crafting from all of the rubies, I'm completely out of them. There is 78 herb lore, so now if I do decide to do raids at some point, I can actually make brews inside raids, which is fairly useful actually, so that's kinda cool. Up to 80 herb lore. And there is 95 crafting, decided to just buy some extra rubies just so I could finish this off. All right, then let's see how long I can stick through with this. We're gonna be mining for a little bit. All right, uh, yay, mining is fun, right? Perfect. I'm risking shit done, by the way. Look at this, if I get killed, <laughs> yeah, let's not die. I don't have Guardian Angel equipped because when I'm mining, I can't. So let's just push, I don't know, maybe if I get like 10 levels at a time, maybe 20, we'll see. There is 70 mining, I'll keep going. And there is 80 mining, so this is definitely a lot of clicking, uh, but I mean, 80, not too bad, right? Back to agility right now, we're all the way up to 95 and it's getting fairly late, so I don't think I'll be up for much longer, but tomorrow we will be returning back to Slayer and hopefully landing on some more uh, cold. So this is pretty much all the skilling that I've done, quite a bit to be honest. 96 agility. And here is 97 agility. I'll continue with more uh, another time. I guess I'm like two hours away from 99, but I can always do that at a later date. Brand new task of 159 smoke devils and I'll do those in the morning. Good morning, back on Smoke Devils. Let's see if we can get a bit lucky. There we go, Sigil of the Barbarians. This probably still goes for quite a bit of money. Oh, there we go, a Colt Necklace. Nice, let's quickly dip out with that. We just got a Supply Drop of 400 Wrath Runes. So that's actually pretty decent. They out for 300 each, so that's actually a Probably one of the best supply drops I've gotten, actually. And here is another Sigil of Barbarians, probably over 100k at least, I'd say. There we go, all the way to 96 Slayer, three more levels to go, and still over here at Smoke Devils, uh, two Occult so far, I believe. And there is a supply drop of Super Combat Pots and something else. I guess Room Plate Legs? Oh my god, another occult. Nice, let's go. Let's dip, dip, dip. And that would be another supply drop of Toad Flexes and Mystic Robe Bottom. Alright, pretty cool. Alright, let's take another task. Smoke Devils, and once again, 181. That is the most I've ever gotten, and hopefully we can get another occult out of that. What? Third Age Plate Body? What? Okay, uh, what? Excuse me. Nah, nah. <laughs> you, it's so useless, but so good. Nah, did I even pick it up? Shit, I did. What? What is this? You're kidding. There it is, up to 97 Slayer. Just two more levels to go. I'm really going hard on Slayer today. I don't know what happened, but I want to push it as fast as I can and as far as I can. Uh, before, well, people wake up, really. So, two more levels to go. I would love to finish this today. However, uh, yeah, it's still a long way to go. Another Sigil drop, this time Sigil of the Elves. This is actually still worth quite a couple hundred K because people... Well, they don't like to train agility and this helps you train agility. So looking at my point situation I'll have to take one regular task in order to get 15 more points and then I'll be able to take two tasks in a row that I'll actually pick 
and then I'll get a ton of points back. So I'll have to do one slow task right now, I think. All right, uh, regular task of gargoyles. Okay, I guess we're gonna go make some money. All right, that's what we like to see, the big uh, marble gargoyle, the first one of many. I believe you play range against this. I don't even know how to kill it. This could be big here. Let's see what we get. 83,000 XP. What is this? Room plate legs, wines of Zami. Mm, not the best drop, but we'll take it, obviously. Ooh, Sigil of the Porcupine. That's uh, the, the one I'm taking to 1v1s. Jamal. All right, we've been at this for about five minutes now. Mr. Gearcapped right now really likes to watch me uh, kick this uh, gargoyle right here. So we're currently engaging in what we are called a stare down. He has a friend right there in the back. And he's really invested into my ability to kick this gargoyle. So I guess, uh, look here, down here in the timer, we'll see how long we'll be here for. I have all the time in the world, I'll be honest. So I'm just kind of vibing here. Alright, I think I'm bored, so I might... Okay, so waiting for him to get hit, and now we go and we run. That's like the easiest escape of my life. I don't know what they're doing. So I was looking to finish off 99 Slayer in this video, but the video is getting very very long already and you know what, I'm feeling like I just wanna edit and finish off my 99 agility right now. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Hold up, wait a minute, I just insta sold an occult for 3 million and 20k, that is so much money. They're going up, I guess no one else is really doing it. So this sold for 320, um, and I guess just one person was buying it, so I have to readjust the price of this one to like 3 million or something, but that's very cool. I just quickly decided decided to sell some sigils, make some free cash, and I guess I'll just slow sell them over time because uh, I don't actually know the prices right now. But anyways, I'm gonna slow sell this for 3 mil and a little bit lower, and yo, that's a lot of money. I can't wait to do more of these later. So the only one of these that we'd probably insta-sell would then be Porcupine, I'm thinking, because I should have extra. I do have extra, let's see. So this one is very highly used in 1v1s, I think. So it insta-sells for 160k. Okay, sigils are not worth as much as I thought. I guess there's just too many in the game at this point. Alright, that is all I had in store for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. It helps me out a ton. Also, if you're not yet subscribed and you've seen some of my past videos, consider subscribing. I am so close to a big, big goal of mine and it would really, really mean a lot. With that all being said, thank you once again for watching and I'll be back very, very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.